hi everyone welcome back to my channel or rather welcome to my channel because this is one of my very first videos um, today's video is gonna be a bit of a haul um, first first uh, first sight or first view show and tell kind of video I'll be showing you guys a few things that I've gotten over the past um, few months like a month or two and I'll be showing you guys telling you guys why I got them and where you guys can get them too if you're interested in getting those so if you guys are interested in that please so guys watching. first up I think I'll start with the face products first and so I'll start with this L'Oreal infallible 24 hour foundation if you follow my blog then you have seen that I've posted about this foundation before and I absolutely love this foundation especially like because it's so affordable so it's something that I can like keep in my bag or in my desk at work and not worry about it getting lost and stuff because like it's not that expensive so I could easily replace it and it's so easy to apply and it's so matte it looks great it feels great and that's why I repurchased it I've repurchased this quite a few times before and I absolutely love it if you are in Namibia or in South Africa you could buy this um, foundation at clicks or in Discam or in Edgar's or in pretty much anywhere where they have a L'Oreal um, stand but uh, pretty much those are the shops that you can get it at it's not that expensive I think it's about 118 Namibian dollars or rands um, so it's not so bad um, as far as foundations go that is okay next up I have these shade adjusting drops uh, from the body shop this these are the darkening ones and I'll tell you guys why I got these so firstly the reason that I got this well besides wanting to have them because they are like a really good thing to have is that I've been for the longest time wanting to get the Maybelline fit me foundation matte and poreless and for some reason Edgar's which is one of the few shops that stock it in Namibia Edgar's only has like super light colors and i'm like one would think that in africa we'd need darker foundation so um eventually i just ended up getting it and then i figured i'll just um darken it with these until i can get an actual darker one but it's also really good guys for like fixing foundation mistakes like the other day i applied um color corrector but it was like a uh, uh, orange corrector and applied too much of it and basically what I did is on top of my foundation I added a few drops just to like tone the orange down I did not think it would work but it actually did um, so this is something I think that's useful to have you can get it at the body shop I'm not sure what the price is at the body shop here in Vinto because I bought it at a body shop in Moscow so I think it was actually slightly cheaper I think it used to be about 300 and something Namibian dollars or rands. I think that should still be the price though. But anyway, you should get to try this out. And then next, I have this primer. It's the Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer. I got this at Sephora in Moscow. I was there a while ago and I am obsessed with it as well. My only thing with this is that you have, it's like a little goes a long way guys, like you can't play, like listen, if you apply too much and you don't apply properly, you will have like white streaks on your face looking like snot dried all over your face for some weird reason. So anyway, yeah, I got this in Sephora. I don't know where you can get it in Namibia because before buying it, I looked everywhere like in Namibia and in South Africa and I could not find it. So... But aside from like ordering it online and stuff, I, I don't know where, where in Namibia and South Africa you can get this. Moving on, we have the, I think I'll move on with the eye products. So basically I wanted to show you guys this little palette. It's like a quad from Inglot. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I posted a picture of this. Um, just after I got it basically this is the freedom system it's part of the freedom system which is essentially like um, buying a palette an empty palette like a Z palette 
and then basically just putting in the colors that you want i have been wanting one of these for a long time but um inglot invento every time that i went to the counter they didn't have any so when i was in moscow i happened to get this and then i just filled it with a few colors i'll just open it up for you guys you can see there's like a, a matte brown over here in this corner there's like a matte dark brown and then like a champagne-ish a light champagne-ish color then like a gold one in the bottom uh, right and then we have like a rose gold color in the bottom left so I really don't remember how much this cost but um, you can get it at the Inglot shop um, in South Africa in Namibia or in Brinta they a bit iffy about their stock but you can also order online as well then the next palette that I have this is from Sephora as well this is their overcast filter palette which I think is really cute um it's got like two four six eight ten colors and basically the colors are inspired by some of the favorite photo editing effects or like filters basically um i got this in sephora in i think in serbia or in russia i'm not too sure um obviously there's no sephora in namibia or south africa so you can't you you, you can't get it in Namibia or South Africa, but you can probably like order it from there If I open this up for you guys just to show you how pretty those colors are So gorgeous, right? And so basically all the colors are like named after a filter. I don't know which filters because these don't look like Instagram filters but anyway. Then next I have this palette from the body shop it's called the down to earth eye palette Here's a baby and i also got it when i was in moscow recently and if you open it up it looks like that it's i don't think it's anything special per se um it's nothing new it's not colors that i don't have except for the fact that um i've never actually tried any of the body shops eyeshadows out that is kind of why i bought this palette and they had like some sale like 20 percent off so i got this right moving on to like face and skin well skin because the eyes are a face anyway basically i also got this um oh cleansing butter from the body shop you know when i initially got it i thought it was actually like makeup removing um butter because i hate like hate removing my makeup with a uh, makeup remover like a liquid makeup remover because like i don't know my eyes are just super sensitive and i just hate getting that stuff in my eyes especially when you're like removing mascara oh god I can't so like I usually use like coconut oil or olive oil but like the smell guys I'm so sensitive to bad to smell okay not to bad smells to smells so like I absolutely hate the smell of olive oil and like when you apply it on your eyes to like remove the makeup it's so close to your nose like it's it's so unbearable but anyway this is what the butter looks like it's just like a white substance I've never actually used it anywhere but my face and I basically use it to clean my face and like a makeup remover basically um, so I apply it and I just rub it in and then like wipe it off and then I'll continue washing my face as per normal and then I also have this <sighs> yes Elizabeth Arden green tea honey drops body cream um, I bought this at the airport guys and let me tell you why I bought it because it came with this which is the eight hour balm and um, while we were in the airport we had like a four hour layover and basically my lip balm was in my checked in luggage and so I couldn't get it and like my lips were so dry and so like I went into the shop and I wanted to get one of these but it came with this um, I've used it a few times as a hand cream because like listen guys I use sheer butter on my body I do not have time to play with anything else so this is what I got and it's not bad like I mean it's a body cream nothing special about that um, I've actually seen I think like perfumes that come with this 
or like it's the same range I've seen these in Fashini so if you guys are interested in that you can go and get that and then I have okay this I bought a while back I just haven't had time to like show it to you guys but this is the black opal deluxe finishing powder in the shade dark guys I love this as a finishing powder like after applying my makeup I would put this on particularly when I'm not wearing so much foundation um, I, I, I feel that it gives a really nice finish and just blends everything well in it's I'll show it to you guys it's super fine oh, super fine but it gets everywhere guys like it sets everything it's amazing but like it flies everywhere like like now like I have to go do laundry because it's all over it's gone all over anyway moving on to the lips um I've, I haven't bought much because I have ordered some lip stuff from Colourpop I don't know when it will arrive guys like I've heard people complain about Colourpop delivery in the states so like I don't know what will happen with Colourpop delivery in, in Namibia because Africa whole other continent ocean in between so anyway like I just saw anyway my the point is that I haven't gotten too many new lip thingies because I'm waiting on my Colourpop order to arrive but I'll show you guys what I got I got two lipsticks from Sephora I think I've worn one so this one It looks like this guys it's like a nudie I don't even know if you can see guys you can't but anyway believe me when I tell you that it's like a little nude color it's in the shade I don't know it's a number I think it's really cute and then I also got this one from Sephora just like a dark color 6147A yeah, why won't it zoom? I'll focus. Okay, anyway, I got that. And then I also got this purple from Inglot, which is number 440. What is with the numbers? I give the lipstick a name. But anyway, basically the story behind this lipstick is I saw a picture. I'll maybe I'll put it up if I find it on Instagram like probably like two years ago and I died you guys know those pictures where they have the lip the lipstick and like maybe like the nail or the eye or something and it's like this color that's just amazing right so I saw this purplish color and I was like done like my life was taken from me by that color and so I basically went around for two years looking for this color I think it was number four this is 440. I think that was 404 something. And I never found it. I had the screenshot saved in my phone and I just never ever found it. So when I was at an ink lot in, in Moscow, I asked them like, do you guys have this shade? And then they were like, yeah, here it is. Because guys, I don't know what the universe was trying to do, why, why it was trying me. Guys, I applied that color and looked like a I don't know a ghost listen it was like this purple guys it's so beautiful on paper like on paper it's beautiful in person guys I was just like no it was horrible and so I ended up getting this color instead because it's 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 I think like two two three shades away no like maybe one shade away and so much better guys so y'all guys that's kind of it those are the few new things that I got oh wait no no yeah that is that is that is it those are the few new things that I've gotten I have okay I will definitely do like an unboxing or like show and tell when I get my color pop stuff because I'm excited about it like I bought a lot of things like I bought like a lot okay I feel very bad about it yeah guys so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this little video um hope to talk to you guys soon please comment below let me know what you guys think and i'll talk to you guys soon ciao